Hey guys, so in this edit I'm going to look at the MLUT plugin by Motion VFX and essentially I'm going to look at um, how you can apply this uh, plugin to your clips and it's going to change um, the profile to the REC709. If you shoot in D-Log, um, you'll notice that it's kind of flat and um, it's quite um, dull. If you apply this plugin to your clips, uh, you just drag it onto the top of your clips and it automatically adjusts your clips to the REC709 profile. So to download it, you just go to uh, motionvfx.com and then you go into M products and you go to free, so it's a free plugin. And then here it is here, uh, M LUT. So you click it, and then you can see all about it on this um, and on their site as well. So you can download it from the site and follow all their steps. Um, once you've got downloaded it, then it will appear in your effects panel here uh, under M LUT. And to use it, it's pretty simple. Uh, so all these clips that I've got here, uh, at the moment they're just raw and I shot in D-Log so I haven't actually adjusted the color at all. This is straight out of the camera. So I'm just going to drag this plugin to the first clip here. The plugin has um, applied to this clip and it hasn't done anything yet. You have to select all the um, what you want in the um, panel here. So at the moment um, you have no, there's no LUT selected. Um, you can load a custom LUT. Um, that means that say you can load your custom ones that you've made or that you've got saved um, and then you've got all the options here um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the library and you can see here you've got these free um, LUTs here okay if you just click them you'll see that they're applying to the clip in the background okay so these ones are free so you can have a look around at those but essentially what I was looking at is um, this here, utility log to rec 709. Um, so you've got a few different profiles, but I'm going to go down to, you've got DJI here. So you've got three different DJI um, versions. Version one is for low exposure shooting conditions. Version two is high exposure shooting conditions. And version three is the normal, okay? Uh, so what it, as you can see here, you can see it says this LUT converts D-Log video to standard Rec 709 image profile. Normal exposure shooting conditions. So this is my favorite. So I've got it here, I've clicked the favorite button and, um, and now if I go into my favorites, that's the only one that pops up. So it's quite nice and easy to find. Um, so I'm just gonna click on this and you can see it's applied in the background and then I'm just gonna go okay. Now that has applied um, that version, the D-Log version, utility log uh, to REC709 to this clip. So I'll just quickly loop it and I'll turn on and off this um, plugin. So I'll turn it off and you can see that's uh, the original, that's original footage that I shot. And then I'm going to apply the plugin and essentially all it's done is it's uh, changed it to the profile for REC 709. So it's pretty simple uh, and that can give you quite nice results straight out uh, not doing any really color editing at all. That's no color editing just applying that plugin to the clip. Uh, you have a few different options here so you can change the intensity so if you have it at zero obviously there's zero um, percent applied. If you have it at 100 it's 100 percent applied. Uh, you can change all the different levels, so the, the highlights uh, and the midtones, shadows. You can change the contrast, uh, the hue and saturation. So say I want to make it a bit more saturated or less saturated, you can change that there. Uh, and also what you can do is you can add keyframes. So say I start at the start of the clip and I want it to be um, black and white. I'm just going to add a keyframe there. So I've added a keyframe at negative one, so saturation is all uh, black and white. And at the end of the clip, uh, I want it to become nice and just uh, normal and saturated. So I just slide this up, and now you can see it will go from 
black and white to colour. So that's quite nice and simple and easy if you want to do any of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to refresh, uh, reset that. You can add grain, so film grain, um, to your clips if you want. And you can change the amount here and all the type and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to leave that off. So it's quite simple just to paste that to all your other clips, okay? So what you do is you just um, copy that to so Command C, or you can go up here and you can go copy. And then, so you've copied that um, attribute, that effect, and you want to select all your clips. Uh, and then you go up to Edit, Paste Attributes, and you can see there the MLUT by Motion VFX is selected, and press Paste. So as you can see, it's now applied it to all your clips. So all of them now have that plugin applied, and it's just changed it from D-Log to that version 3 um, utility log to Rec 709. So if you enjoyed that, then give us a like, uh, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm going to look at another Motion VFX plugin soon. Uh, this one will be the M Transition. Um, it's a pretty cool effect, so keep an eye on out for that. Uh, this one is a paid one, but I will do a free version as well soon.